Over the past month, I've gotten a chance to test out the top 4K TVs from the top four manufacturers, and it was a lot of fun, but they're still LCD-based TVs, and they come with those LCD problems. This is a different animal. This is LG's new OLED TV, and at $3,500, it's the least expensive OLED we've seen yet. Let's check it out. Funny story, when we picked up the box for this television, we weren't sure the TV was actually in there. It's that light, and part of the reason why is it's actually thinner than an iPhone. Another bonus was that the TV was already on its stand, so no assembly required out of the box. Now, it is a curved television, but LG's gone with a really gentle radius here, so the curve doesn't overwhelm you, and when you sit down and look at it straight on, the curve pretty much disappears. Once you start watching this TV though, you wouldn't notice a curve anyway because the picture quality absolutely draws you in. It's hard to overstate just how much impact, contrast, and deep black levels can have on a picture. And this TV has both of them going in spades. The black is almost absolute black, and the contrast is just off the charts. This TV can get nice and bright. It looks amazing whether it's in a dark room or a bright room, and color is spot on. And of course, since it's one of LG's premium televisions, it's gonna come with all the bells and whistles. That includes WebOS, which is still our favorite smart TV platform. There's just one thing that's gotten me concerned. I'm thinking that low price point might have met some cuts in the processing. What we're noticing is quite a bit of judder. Uh, fast moving and slow moving scenes a lot seem to stutter a little bit. We've tried multiple settings and aside from turning on the de-judder which introduces that soap opera effect, nothing has solved the problem. Now this is not a 4K television, it's 1080p, which makes more sense at 55 inches anyway. And I'll tell you what, if you're going to have to choose between a 4K TV and an OLED, I'd take the OLED every day. But pretty soon you won't have to. We'll see these OLED televisions in 4K soon enough. For now though, I'm happy just to see this 55-incher at $3,500.